Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to bout number four of the show. So please welcome into the blue corner, representing Eagles Muay Thai, Dominic Jay! And now, please welcome into the red corner, fighting out of Fight City Gym, Sylvano Santa Gator! Silvano Santa Gaita! Back to K1 here at Fairfield Halls. This is Combat Fight Series Live. A very warm welcome. This bout is scheduled for three three minute rounds and we can test it. Dominic James, three and three. Silvano Santagata, three and two. Eagles Muay Thai versus Fight City Gym. And yes, a warm welcome to you wherever you are watching around the world. It's a sellout crowd here in Croydon. Three three minute rounds, eight ounce gloves. Two big, strong 68 kilo guys who already look like they're going straight at it. You've got James in the blue gloves, Santagata in the red. No, I was going to say, don't blink. These guys have come to fight. Big hands going oh, in there. Big shot there. Using the ropes to keep him up. Here's James. That's the thing with K1, isn't it? It's only three rounds, but with no clinch, no respite. It's just so full on action, yeah. yeah. yeah just no opportunity to rest. Yeah, also, you scored on volume and coming forward and so it is designed to have a great tear up <laughs> it's great to watch certainly is nice body shot there from santa gata james the taller of the two oh Oof. gets rocked by a right hand from santa gata though just walks in and gets caught yeah a second one straight after it too and then the left hand from santa gata as james is trying to shape up for the kick yeah silvano's hands are Having a lot more effect here. I'd like to see him go back to that straight punching. There you go, look, stiff jab, rocking the head back. Sets everything else up nicely off the back of those hands. Oof. Oh, and then lands that right, straight right. James. Under the pump here as Santa Gata backs him into the corner. Doesn't want to spend too long there. Lovely uppercut through the guards. Then a cuffing right hand was off the gloves, but so much force behind it still rocked the head of Dominic James. Yeah, I felt like he was close to taking a count there. The referee was watching very closely as he was backed into the corner taking shots. And now he's coming forward himself. Yeah, there's not as much venom in the shots from James as there is from Santa Gata, though. Yeah, Silvano is a machine as well. <laughs> he, he comes and he, he does this for three threes. Trained out of Fight City Gym. You can see the marking around the back of the ribcage of Dominic James with some of those kicks of oof, really taking grip. No one again, Silvano backs James into the corner. Doesn't want to spend too long there. 
Better kick from James, but Silvano catches him with the hands again. There's literally a footprint yeah. on the left side of the rib cage of James. And all across the bicep as well. Even if, you know, we look for the for the finishing kicks, the ones that catch you on the head Ooh. and the jaw as Silvano lands a heavy right hand. And then the kick to the rib cage again. Dominic James has taken some big punishment, but still getting kicks away. Yeah, fair play to him, he's tough. But he oh, does just hold right hand there, but then gets rocked. Yeah, he just holds his hands there, but Silvano's getting through those punches. Yeah, just looking, you, you talk about the footprint across his rib cage. He's got one all across his bicep as well. So we talk about those, you know, those those kicks that can take your legs out or the ones that can take your head off. But if you just keep wearing kicks across the bicep like that, it just takes all the power out of your shots as well. Yeah. It's a massive attack, but effectively it's surreptitious defense too. Yeah, if you watch here on the replay, it's catching, sometimes catching the body clean, sometimes up on the arms. There was that shot, rocked his legs a little bit there. It just gets through with that little short uppercut through the guard as well. It catches the guard that takes the sting out of it, but that's got to that's gotta make you worry as a defensive fighter. If you're just getting caught there, you're thinking, oh God, if he catches me clean with that uppercut, then it's curtains. Yeah, there was a couple of nice left hooks to the body from the man in the red gloves, Silvano. But yeah, one round. It feels like it's been going longer. Yeah. Round Into two. round two. Silvano Santagata, Fight City Gym, red gloves, gold trunks, Dominic James, blue gloves. Lands a good left hook there, James. In yeah. those Welsh coloured trunks. Nicer hands there from James this time. I think the problem James has got is that his power doesn't really seem to bother Santagata at all. Gonna have to be a bit more clever with it. Yeah, exactly that. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And the most powerful fighter is not necessarily the winning fighter. It's about finding the way to win. At the moment, more work coming from Red. Yeah. But this is a test of the engine for Silvano. If it goes that referee. far as he gets through with the uppercut again. Yeah, referee keeping a very close eye. Mm. But the test will come because every shot he throws has venom in it. He doesn't waste any. But sometimes he'll throw three or four and they'll come off the gloves of James and they'll be energy sapping for the attacking fighter too. Yeah, very much so. And that's what's interesting sometimes seeing where people slow. Are they slowing to have an attack of their own coming shortly after or are they slowing because they're just tired and can't throw again two more shots off the gloves there as James finds himself on the ropes good left hook from James again no clinch k1 yeah. rules two seconds back you go lads <laughs> oh left hook there and the kick from James better from Dominic James much nicer work there Oh, on the right hand as well Looks like he's almost gaining confidence, realizing he can land shots that hurt. Yeah, renaissance from the Eagles Muay Thai man. Has he weathered the storm? Still a minute around two to go. Oh, three minutes of this kind of action. Chris <laughs> Patcheldorn gets the first knockdown of the fight. <laughs> Chris is a big old lump when he comes into you there. Another good kick from James. Silvano just starting to slow here. But then again, so is James. That's two tired boys out there. Still around to go after this. Catches the kick, does James. Gets some this work is better there. work from James, though. Much better work. Yeah, much better round he's had here in the second. Because he was under the pump in the first. Oh, yeah, it was all, all red corner for me in the first round. And that wow. is the only way to get some respite, to literally stand off. But then Silvano comes in with the right hand. They hear the clappers for the final 10 seconds. Get wrapped up. Big shots. Yeah. <laughs> James is claiming the round. Still one to come.
There was that right hand over the top from Silvano. And this was where I wasn't sure if he was going to take account, the Welshman. But he fought his way out nicely. Final round then, Dominic James stood in All the right, middle of three. the ring, ready to go, wants to get on it, and then the bell goes, they'd already been at it for five seconds. Oh. Dominic James catches Silvano with the left hand on the way in, he missed with the knee, and then Silvano Santagata comes in with some hands himself. Yeah, let's go for broke time, gentlemen, third and final round. Sort of lost the venom we had in yeah. round one and two. Oh, just a shot on the chin there from James. This is a bit like range anxiety, isn't it? Where you know, like people who people have got battery cars and they're wondering that the battery's just going to run out before they get to the end of their journey. Because <laughs> three minutes out there when you're running on fumes is a long time. Well, that's think, it. I think the key in a round like this though is not to rush your work. Yeah, you do not want to run out of steam, though. As you said, that could be a very, very dangerous oh. breakdown. Body shot there from Silvano. Then James comes back with a slappy left hook. Yeah, he's working the body nicely. Good, good plan as well against a tired opponent. Body shots are always devastating. You'd rather get punched in the face a lot than punched in the body. And Silvano just bouncing those kicks off James's arms. That'll be exhausting for him, especially when he wants to land some punches himself. And that was nice movement there from Silvano. Oh, they... a big shot from James, though. Yeah. And he's dropped him. Is that going to be a count? No. That was just off balance. Stiff jab as he was off balance, but much better work from James. Yeah. It's almost uh, like I feel like if. If he just gained a bit more confidence and realised that he has got what it takes to sting Silvano, he could have actually had a much better round than that. Oh, they could put him down. James. Look, he's and gone. Test drop him. Will Santa Gata make the count? It was a That's massive it. kick from James. Then he boxed him around the ring. That was the head kick. He was out and he almost got held up by James as they were going across the ring. That head kick put him out. It was a beautiful shot. Well, Dominic James sinks to the canvas to show respect to his opponent. But the... Let's have a look at the moment that ended it. Silvano's left hand was low as the shots were going to the body. There again to the body, I think this was it. Yeah, just as Silvano was starting to get back into the round, starting to impose himself, it's a lovely straight right hand there. That was it, after those punches, he came out, boom, head kick, look, oh. whack. That was it, and he falls onto James, James holds him up, works the body, but he is out on his feet at that point. Takes one more shot and the uh, referee jumped in straight away and could see that he was in no position to continue. What That's a recovery right. from James though, because I, I didn't think he'd make halfway through the second round the way Silvano Santagata started round one. Same, and I think James just didn't realise there that he could do damage. It was almost like once he got that little bit of confidence and realised he could do it, he stepped up and, and he took the fight. What a performance. Dominic James is just awaiting Silvano Santagata to get the all clear before we get the official result. Yeah, medics. Win for James. medics are just going to double check he's okay. Fighter safety is paramount. Uh, we're going to go to the MC for the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was brought to a close in 2 minutes and 14 seconds of the final round by way of KO! Administered by your winner, 
in the blue corner, Dominic James. And let's make some noise for our runner-up, Silvano Santagata.